you had wanted to create a housing crisis, you would pretty much do to the letter what we've done in Britain in the last 40 years. You would sell off council houses, more than a million, and you would stop councils from replacing them, from rebuilding them. Uh, you would have house price inflation, so people on low and then modest incomes can no longer afford to buy a home, which pushes them into the private rental sector. You then don't regulate or reform the private rental sector to give renters any protection against quick-fire evictions. And then on top of that, you consistently don't build enough houses. So rent goes up, competition goes up, and you end up in situations like this. What we're seeing here, Tom, being no doubt, is years, decades in the making. And I have to say, as you've said, the gap between the problem and the solution is big. Both parties, the Conservative Party and the, and the Labour Party, say housing is a priority. I see little evidence that is the case. Rishi Sunak has his five pledges, not one of them is on housing. Keir Starmer has his five pledges, none of them are on housing. There is little detail in Labour's plan. Many people say what is needed here is a kind of 1950s style response, a mass house building across the country. That is not being proposed by either country. This problem is not a housing crisis, it's a housing emergency, and we're seeing the working poor becoming the working homeless in this country.